hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm making chicken taco chili in an instant pot so if you guys want to know how to make this hit that subscribe button and watch me cook i don't actually own this i'm actually borrowing this from my father-in-law because it was just sitting in his pantry so i'm going to try a series this summer of instant pot recipes now i'm a complete newbie with this instant pot and if you see where it says close and open that is the front if you put the back side toward the front, there is no way that you can shove this thing on there to make it lock and close. I'm only sharing this with you guys because I struggled and I had my husband laughing at me the entire time that I was trying to close this thing. So I thought I had to share this with you in case you didn't know. So make sure you have it kind of to your right a little bit so that you can see where it will fit and it will twist easily to close and open. Okay, let's move on to our recipe now. This uses minimal ingredients. You just need two large frozen chicken breasts, a small can of green chili, two cans of your favorite kind of white beans. I just happen to use just like, I think white navy beans or something. I'm not sure anymore, but um, have those rinsed and drain and pour that in. A can of cream of chicken soup. You can give the gluten-free kind as well. Throw a can of chicken broth in there and then mix it up as well as you possibly can with the frozen chicken. From what I'm understanding, the thing with instant pots are it needs a, some sort of thin liquid inside of this pot so it can pressure cook without burning any part on the bottom. So as you can see, this is how it looks after I've mixed it. And all I'm gonna do is throw my top back on there, lock it up, and then make sure where it says seal and vent, you're gonna wanna put that toward seal. If you keep it on the vent side, there's no way it's gonna cook. Or I, you know what, I'm not even sure. I didn't even try it, but I'm not gonna try that. But we're gonna go ahead and pressure cook this and you can't see it because I just realized it while watching this video, but I will change it so you can see this in just a minute. But I am putting it on the pressure cook and I went ahead and changed my time to 22 minutes. And you didn't see it there, but you'll see it again in a second. All it says is on and you'll see where it says 22 minutes and then we're gonna get back to that in 22 minutes and see how that turns out. You really have to do nothing else. It just kind of does everything on its own for you. So I guess that's the beauty of this whole entire thing. This is seriously my first time ever handling the Instant Pot. So yeah, I was scared of this vent thing because I mean, I've heard horror stories of people getting severely burned from this. So I used a wooden stick and it just kind of stayed away from it. I also learned that if you don't have all of the steam released, your lid will not open no matter how hard you try but pull that lid away from you so the steam goes away from your face and then you'll see how well it's nice and bubbly inside. Now all I'm doing here is just shredding it because I don't have any bear claws with me so I'm gonna go ahead and just use some forks and shred this up just to see if it's cooked through and just to show you guys, take a look at this. Nicely cooked through from frozen. Pretty darn good. And that was literally how easy that whole dinner was. I threw some cheese and sour cream on there. You can throw some avocados, tortilla chips, whatever your favorite toppings are, and just mix this all up and eat this up. And that was it. By the way, the texture on this, the chicken, so good. So much better than the slow cooker. I kind of love this machine. If you guys want more recipes like this, hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching. Watch me cook.